How's it going, everybody? It's Dan from Tidal Gardens. So a while ago at a trade show, I met Brandon from Zoanthids.com, and he showed me some very interesting ways to pack up corals using foam floats and specimen cups. So starting out, we want to make some of these foam floats. For our purposes, we used a 2-inch hole saw to drill out some of these floats out of a solid sheet. You can see one of these sheets here where I've already drilled out a few of the floats. Now the kind of foam that I like to use is the solid core variety. I've used some styrofoam but it gets messy and I've also tried the sponge-like foam and the issue there is that it tends to sink once it starts to fill with water. So uh, the solid core stuff is what I recommend and I happen to find it on eBay of all places and as a bonus it's 100% recycled. Once we're done drilling, there's all these holes obviously. The sheet still comes in handy later if you want to use it as a holder for the specimen cups. Speaking of these cups, there's two types that we found from a lab supply store called Pulmo Lab. I'm sure there's plenty of suppliers of urine sample cups out there, so if you can find any out there that are cheaper than the ones that I use, please let me know. Now, the 3 ounce sterile cups cost about 20 cents each while the 4 ounce non-sterile are about 16 cents each. While these are quite a lot more expensive than plastic bags, they save a ton of time when it comes to packing corals. This is especially true if you'd like to use several bags for each coral. Okay, so how does this all work? Now taking the coral plug here, it fits right into the hole in the foam float made by the drill bit. After that, you can just set it into the specimen container. Now the nice thing about this is that it prevents the coral from bouncing off the sides of the container or laying face down against the sides of either a bag or a container. This obviously helps reduce stress on the corals during transit. Lastly, these cups actually make it easier to fit in more corals into a box than using bags. Here I was able to get 12 corals into a box that's basically a 9 inch cube. Okay, that about does it. Special thanks again to Brandon at Zoanthids.com for sharing this technique. Hopefully, other people find it helpful. So, do you have any super secret packing tips? Post it!